apartment. Yell. The tower has come down.
Flight 77 is circling just west of Washington, D.C. It's spotted by a National Guard pilot. It just began rolling through the outer E-ring of the building where some Army accounting offices were. Jim McLeseski has some new information at the Pentagon. I hope you'll stand by and continue to talk with us, Mick. Katie, I don't want to alarm anybody right now. We're then into the D-ring where the Navy Command Center was, then continued into the C-ring where some of the Defense Intelligence Agency Comptroller offices were. September the 11th, enemies of freedom committed an act of war against our country. Americans have known wars, but for the past 136 years, they have been wars on foreign soil, except for one Sunday in 1941. Americans have known the casualties of war, but not at the center of a great city on a peaceful morning. Americans have known surprise attacks, but never before on thousands of civilians. All of this was brought upon us in a single day. And night fell on a different world. A world where freedom itself is under attack. Americans have many questions tonight. Americans are asking, who attacked our country? The evidence we have gathered all points to a collection of loosely affiliated terrorist organizations known as Al-Qaeda. They are some of the murderers indicted for bombing American embassies in Tanzania and Kenya and are responsible for bombing the USS Cole. Al-Qaeda is to terror but the Mafia is to crime. But its goal is not making money. Its goal is remaking the world and imposing its radical beliefs on people everywhere. The terrorists practice a fringe form of Islamic extremism that has been rejected by Muslim scholars and the vast majority of Muslim clerics, a fringe movement that perverts the peaceful teaching of Islam. The terrorist directive commands them to kill Christians and Jews, to kill all Americans, and make no distinctions among military and civilians, including women and children. This group and its leader, a person named Osama bin Laden, are linked to many other organizations in different countries, including the Egyptian Islamic Jihad, and the Islamic movement of Uzbekistan. There are thousands of these terrorists in more than 60 countries. They are recruited from their own nations and neighborhoods. 
and brought to camps in places like Afghanistan, where they're trained in the tactics of terror. They are sent back to their homes or sent to hide in countries around the world to plot evil and destruction. The leadership of Al-Qaeda has great influence in Afghanistan and supports the Taliban regime in controlling most of that country. In Afghanistan, we see Al-Qaeda's vision for the world. Afghanistan's people have been brutalized. Many are starving and many have fled. Women are not allowed to attend school. You can be jailed for owning a television. Religion can be practiced only as their leaders dictate. A man can be jailed in Afghanistan if his beard is not long enough. The United States respects the people of Afghanistan. After all, we are currently its largest source of humanitarian aid. But we condemn the Taliban regime.